Trinimer's identity has shifted a bit with the new split. No Lethal Tempo, no Kraken Sayer first, etc. You're less of an all-in champion. You're less of a champion that likes to stay in side lane. Uh, you already was less of that when they buffed turret shots and they nerfed Lethal Tempo already, etc. But now you're a space creator that's what Trindamir is you need to create space to be at the right time in the right place but to try to create number advantages by creating pressure points on the side rotate etc so i feel like this game in particular was a really good example of how to use Trindamir as a macro tool but also how to macro in a general way so even if you are not a Trindamir or a top lane player i'm sure you can learn some things from it anyway hope you enjoyed the video thank you for being here much love Tips on training to Yone. Um, well, same shit. I mean, the thing is, I, I actually created the format with a with my short editor and it was one minute matchups so there is one video you can check on youtube it's called one minute matchups and i legit explain a matchup in a minute um and it's a really good format but the thing is we cannot really do it anymore because now any trinary matchup is gonna be well abuse the sustain bro like like <laughs> that's it like how i'm gonna win into Jax? well i'm gonna abuse the sustain like how did i win into riven well i abuse the sustain like, it, it's so stupid, but it works. So, tips against Yone, well, abuse the stain. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. Um, I mean, dodge his cues, I guess. And then abuse the sustain. And yeah, it, it used to be more complex. I missed that. I walked back to, to hit my E, but I was, I was a few pixels short. Like, look at that, it's like, facing Jax, while I'm abusing the stain, you go for short raids, and you out stain. And that's what they do into every single champion, basically. So, that's, that's my tip. Want to support the channel? Like and subscribe. Oopsie, got out paste on that one. It's okay, it's the first time. And yeah, Ulain is won by using the stain. Now oh, he's missing XP. NGG. You just do that into any matchup, any situation. That's what Riot has transformed Trindamir into. A sustained machine. Thank you, that you guys let me rage a little. I mean... You're welcome, I guess. Or is it Zach's support or <laughs> oh is he part of my bot? And guess what? First time I've used the sustain, he had he had TP. But this time he doesn't, so I should wait for him to E before I E, I e myself. Ah, uh, he's gonna get E maybe. Okay, never. If the wave freezes, I can base. Nah, this is not. This is not that good of a freeze. So yeah, I basically took two of of his HP bars, and now look at my HP bar. Oh, it's full. It's completely full. But is it full? Because I'm just sustain. Yeah. You're gonna hear that a lot. Okay, I just need to find one good base now. I 
Maybe you can use level 6 for that. I knew that if I crit, I would miss the cannon. But I mean, I'm not gonna wait forever for it not to be in kill range. Or it was not even kill range. Like, I wanna crash this wave, so it's okay if I miss that one. Cannot get everything in life. Oop, let's go Tiamat, let's go this, this and that, and abuse some sustain. Uh, okay, so let's see. Bot is actually doing decent. Like, Zach is spending so much time there, and they're still, like, managing to be even. Kind of. Care. So, I'm... I mean, Jin. At this point, you're asking for it. I mean, he was she was legit asking for it. Promo spacing. They could not hold that wave, even if it looked like they could, because it was too big. It's okay. It ended up crashing. Okay, huge. Okay, let's be smart again. I mean, how smart do you need to be? Press Q. Hey, in the in the bush, so he loses vision and he cannot follow. Walking a bit with Tiamat. W for AD debuff. I can base for tier 2 boots. Come back faster. Also, Zek was coming back topside, so I don't want to stay too long. Okay, so far so good. I have a big, big item diff. He has Zong Sword, Cloth. I have tier 2 boots and Tiamat, so I can look to play the grubs soon, not yet, soon. Don't you find it been boring, sustain fight, kind of boring? I don't. I understand that it is for the average player. Uh, it's very boring to face, for sure. I wouldn't like to face my champion right now. Uh, is it boring to play? Not to me. No, no, no. So no, I don't. But if someone does, I would I would understand. I am your worst nightmare. Uh that sounds a bit forced. Just a bit, you know. This song is so good. This one? The pink song? Because that's the only music that you can hear. For it was pray to the crit gods. Ah, it was never pray to the crit gods. I think I make a play that works or doesn't work because of the crit difference once every 15 games or something. And if someone doesn't, then he's just like playing Trindamir wrong, in my opinion. So I don't think it was ever pray to the crit gods. Actually, whenever I make a play that depends on the crit ghost, uh, 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 gods, I make a I make a short out of it because it's so rare. Whether it's positive or negative. Hmm. Are you French? Bon bon bon, bien sûr que je suis French. Think you can hear it. Up. 
But I can tell you that, that Jax is finding it very boring, that's for sure. What's happening on the map, man? Oh, I'm playing T1, Jax TP'd. Ah! Oh, it was so close! What a shit fest. Well, not for me. You know, I'm playing my lane, winning it, getting T1. I'll be the stable element, you know. Je stream sur plusieurs plateformes en même temps, je stream sur Twitch et YouTube en même temps. Lilmus, c'est un des mus que je connais euh, IRL. Ou euh, c'est un mec qui s'appelle Lilmus euh, que j'apprécie euh, beaucoup aussi, mais... Est-ce qu'on se connaît IRL, Lilmus Parce que je connais deux mus. C'est les mus, on les appelle. Et je me demande si c'est un des deux mus. Ou pas. Non pas du tout, ok ça marche, bon bah c'est un troisième mus. Attends, il y a deux potes qui s'appellent... Euh, un qui s'appelle Musso, un qui s'appelle Musé. Et euh, bah du coup c'est les mus hein. Du coup je vois Mélie de mus, je me dis eh, mais attends c'est mon... C'est mon bro. Voilà. Tu sais tout. Tu connais toute ma vie. Oui oui donc non c'est normal que tu vois pas les messages, euh, c'est des messages euh, YouTube. C'est pas moi qui m'invente une vie à répondre à des trucs qui n'existent pas. Ok, so Drake is spawning, and I'm not gonna lie, if I wanna help on Drake, me being top doesn't do shit. So, I'm gonna go mid, and I'm gonna go bot. Yeah, if we can cut Tristana, at least slow her on her way there. Okay, they have won that without me. Tell me, fast, fast, fast. Okay, you take it. I really wanted to like E Hydra in that wave. So yeah, I, so I had more impact than Jax here. That's the whole point. Because if I stay in push T2, well, I just do as much as Jax. So what's the point of being ahead if you're gonna do less than your opponent, you know? Or as much as your opponent. If you're doing as much with more resources, it means you're not doing shit. I think that, that answer is a problem that I often hear in coachings and stuff. People tell me, yeah, I managed to have a lead all the time, I win my lane, but then, then we lose the game for this and that reason. Actually, we cannot take those. And often the answer is, well, what are you actually doing for your team, you know? Where are you with that lead? Okay. Oh, well, that's an ult. Wait. I didn't dodge that. That's two ults. Jack's ult, Zack ult. Okay. An enemy has been slain. This game is so stupid, man. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Yo 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 yo. You just need a plant. All you need is a plant. If there is a plant, you can do Drake. But go fast. Go fast. Go fast. Nice. Nice. He listened. Okay. I should go bot now. Thank you, Vex. Thank you, team. What? I'm so proud of them. No, 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 no. Never mind. Malheureusement, c'est pas ton browser, pas mon browser. 
Bon après comme j'ai dit hein, c'est pas genre euh, ah je suis trop déçu euh... Oh non c'est pas mon, mon bro Quand même très content de t'avoir hein C'était juste je me, me poser la question What is this game man What the hell is this game Ok Yo don't go bot don't go bot don't go bot Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, but Brom? Are you cooking? Oh no, she's hitting me. Big damage. Okay, never mind. Okay, no, it's fine. <laughs> Ah, okay, I, I thought I would sustain a bit more than that, and she would have a bit less damage than that, but I guess she's actually kind of fed. Welcome back for the session, merci beaucoup P.Y. thank you Jackhand. And she sounds so soothing. Yeah, you like that? Okay, that's old for old. I wonder I need to learn so much from you, I guess that's what it means to be ranked 2 train. <laughs> you're doing as much as your opponent went ahead, you are not doing shit so true. Yeah, you're actually doing well, relatively less, you know, it's it's not about your impact, it's about your relative impact. But it works both ways. Like when you're behind, if you manage to get your opponent on sail lane and just deep push ways, for example, it means you're doing more than them. You have more resources, you're doing as much, you're doing more. So that's a very important concept to understand. Emo. Okay. As I keep saying in stupid games like this, you have two ways you have two ways to play them. Either you become as stupid as everyone and you go and play every fight, etc. Because you know that fights are gonna happen. You know, like here if I went mid I like exactly I was gonna say like if I went mid I, I, I know that something would have happened. Or you become the one stable element, you become that one person that does the right thing, you know. And I feel like the answer is probably in, in a, a mix between the two most of the time. If you want to default something, I'd say default to doing the right thing. Or like doing the consistent one. What can we use our tempo for? Well, nothing. I'm an item in base. I think I want to play this. I don't think I want to play top. Okay, I can go and take Fred Puff. I mean, this is forced. Like, okay, Brom is doing the option option one, but maybe. Oh yeah 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 yeah! Now Vex is coming. A well, good thing I'm trained the mirror and I cannot die. Yeah, we nash, we nash, we nash, we nash, we nash, we nash. Okay, we don't Nash, I guess. Oh, Drake. Okay, but we something. We don't. We don't tier two. Okay, never mind. I kill Jax. Right, right. What are we doing, man? Okay, you see, when I talk about being the stable element, we're gonna end up getting the Drake, but clearly not because of my team.
Okay. Now what's stable? Chasing kills when they cannot even threaten Nash. Or pushing T2. Let's push T2. Because no one is defending. We just won't stop fighting. Well, I will. Oop. Nice. So we got T2, T3. We got Drake on the last stupid fight. We got T2 bots. Um. Play around Nash me but what's she doing? Oh no 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 Why is she splitting as Vex? It's three items Vex that wants to split on the Nash timer without TP like What? Oh she ulted Please play for Nash, team. We have Brent, we do it fast, team. Oh shit, I fed fingered my ult. It's not that bad, I guess. Please, can we play that? Please. Please. At some point, can we just go and play the Nash? Please. And get out of the game. That would be so nice. Zack is dead. Thank you. Yeah, you need to tame them. You have stupid teammates. Instead of complaining, you need to tame them. Well, I mean, I guess I'm the I'm on the winning end of the stupid, you know. Like yes, it's like we died 24 times, but we killed 37, you know. So it's not. I'd rather be on my side than theirs. Man, you are a macro monster. Well. I guess, I don't know if I'm a monster, but that's clearly what I've been working on the most. Oh, just get that demolish proc base, get on the same uh, tempo as my team. Just a bit late, but doesn't matter. They're gonna push mid like morons. The best place to send me mid, I should be mid slash bot, and then my team goes top to play triple inhib and to guarantee a win. But they're not going to do that. So I'm going to go myself and push top myself. Forcing them into good plays. Okay. Now again, like no one has pushed mid lane. But I guess we're just killing everyone. Oh no. Awesome. Another top diff. GG. Cap, cap, cap. Bla, full aim. I look better than Adrian Prime. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> not yet. Okay, Shadow Prime is not 
I guess I guess Eberiet was uh, what the top one hundred at some point. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. Not even close. I mean, you can just say like Shadow better than Eberiet, and it will work. You know, like right now, I'm probably better than him. But you cannot. You cannot compare me to his prime. It was just too good. Uh, let's give it to. I feel like giving it to no one. Probably Jin. Hi, Mr. Farwin. Oh. Oh, but that's Trindamir. Wait. Is that not Trindamir? Victor is Trindamir. Wait, we, we did it. just get that right now. Oh, we're gonna OTP this. Yeah, because I'm a. <laughs> I'm a everything one trick, you know. I one trick champions. I one trick a roll. I one trick a playstyle often, and I also one trick an emote. That's really important to me. I'm a very loyal person.